In Matthew 25, verses 31 through 46, Jesus talks about his return and how he will separate all the people as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. To his sheep he will say, Come, you who are blessed by my Father, take your inheritance, the kingdom prepared for you since the creation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me something to eat. I was thirsty, and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger, and you invited me in. I needed clothes, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you looked after me. I was in prison, and you came to visit me. Then the sheep will say, Lord, when did we do all these things? And he will answer them, Truly I tell you, whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. And then his sheep will enter into eternal life with Jesus. But the goats who did not do these things will not. Now at first glance, it almost seems as though this is a list of things that we must do in order to enter heaven. But remember, Jesus said that many will come to him on that day talking about all the great things that they've done and their good works and expecting to enter into eternal life. But he will say to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you workers of lawlessness. So now the question you might be asking is, well, then how do I know if I'm his sheep? Well, for the answer to that question, let's hear what Jesus says. In fact, The answer to the question is in those four words right there. Hear what Jesus says. Jesus said, My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. Most of the chief priests and the Pharisees rejected Jesus and his word. And anyone who doesn't follow Jesus will be with the goats. But these were leaders and important people in the church Their job was to study the law and uphold it, yet Jesus calls them workers of lawlessness. Now, we know that all of the law is summed up in this. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. The second is this. Love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. But without Jesus, we can't possess the love that is required to do these things. Jesus said, Truly, truly, I say to you, he who does not enter the sheepfold by the door, and Jesus is the door, but climbs in by another way, like claiming their good works, that man is a thief and a robber. That's why Jesus says, I never knew you. These are people who trusted in their own accomplishments and good works rather than knowing Jesus and following him. Jesus said, If anyone loves me, he will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him and make our home with him. In the original Greek, that word keep means to watch over, to guard. So, to watch over his word, like the faithful servants in the parable of the talents, not the one who buried it in the ground, but the ones who kept it close. When we hear Jesus and keep his word, we're inviting the very presence of God to live in us. And when that happens, he gives us the compassion and the opportunities to help those in need. So, Rather than worrying if you're doing the right stuff, just keep following Jesus. And fear not, little flock, for it is your Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom.